Now, NASA's announcement of water on Mars has created a massive sensation the world over, but did you know a Nepal-born American heavy metal fan was behind it? That's right. In fact, 25-year-old Luju Oja is quite the personality. Nupur Tiwari spoke to him. The young man standing right next to me is a 25-year-old death metal guitarist. Is that right? That is correct. But we are here to see Luju Ojha because he is the person who has shown the world that there is water on Mars. Now, Luju, tell us, we've been hearing about there being water on Mars for many years now, but this time it's special. Why is that? Yeah, it's very special because, yeah, we've been hearing about it for a long time. I mean, even if you go back 100 years ago, I mean, you know, there was speculation that there was some sort of water activity going on on the Mars, Martian surface. But this time, we've actually looked at the surface of Mars with uh, a instrument called spectrometer, and we've actually found chemical evidence that there's water. So now, these are not morphological or geological evidence. We actually observed molecular water on the surface. So it's a, it's a more of a very unambiguous detection this time. Um, there's There's no proof for error here now. And also there's water on the planet as we speak. It's not about there once having been water, atmosphere and so on on the surface of Mars, but there's water on it right now. That is correct. Uh, we've been observing these features since 2010. That's when they were first discovered. And uh, even as late as, you know, a couple of months ago, we were seeing this uh, uh, brine uh, flowing on the surface of Mars. So this is today. This is right now. We're not talking about millions of years ago. We're not talking about billions of years ago. We're talking today. And is this water like the water we have on Earth? Can we drink it? Can it be used in the way in which we use water here? Yeah, and that's a, that's a great question. And it's, all, uh, it's only going to be um, limited by chemistry. Uh, we think the water is probably not pure, and it's uh, probably salty. Then in that case, so you can imagine being in Indian Ocean or Pacific Ocean and trying to drink that water. I mean, it's going to have a little bit, you know, problem. So uh, we really need to understand the chemistry first. We think the water is salty, and if it's very salty, I don't think we can drink it, but we should definitely be able to, uh, you know, use it as a resource in the future when we need it.